Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. So we continue with triple products. So please write the next question. Prove that STP A plus B, B plus C, C plus A is equal to 2 times STP A, B, C. Okay, before we start, let me remind you one thing. Scalar triple product is denoted by box ABC. And the definition is very easy. You write the three vectors and put one dot and one cross according to your convenience. You can put one dot and one cross according to your convenience. But you have to work on the cross product first or rather I will put this bracket here so that it becomes more convenient to uh, like what you call understand we have to do this. But brackets are not compulsory. Okay and the easiest way to evaluate an STP when the vectors are given in component form is you find the determinant of the components A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3 c1 c2 c3 okay now since the stp is a determinant all the properties of the determinants are valid for stp or in other words if two vectors repeat in an stp do you remember if two rows are what you call multiples even if they are multiples then the determinant value will be zero so this makes the uh, STP vanish. So remember, if two vectors are parallel or if two vectors are identical, then the STP will vanish. And another property, if you interchange any two vectors, for example, I want to interchange B and C. So I get A, C, B. Then the punishment will be negative. Do you remember in determinant also we had something similar? When you interchange any two rows, you have to put an extra negative. And if you do it in a cyclic pattern, cyclic pattern means like a chain, like a belt. I think you have seen that escalators in shopping malls and all. So basically, if you make a circular movement, that is, this will become the first row, this will become the second and this will become the third. So, if you write A, B, C, I'll show you a cyclic movement. Look at this. C will come here and it will push A and B ahead. C, A, B. So, remember, one cyclic movement in an STP is equal to two interchanges. So, the sign will be same. And then, that's it. So, let's start. And remember, all the problems in this video are very, very important. Because that will give you a strong base and you will be able to do many problems related to it. Okay, so what we do is we start with the left hand side. It is an STP, right? So how do you write an STP? Write the three vectors A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. Let me put bracket so that, okay. Now what should I do? I have to put one dot and one cross according to my convenience. Okay, now you know uh, like what you call, uh, what you call this cross product with addition is distributive. So you distribute B. So we get A plus B dot. Okay, what will be the first one? I'm going to distribute B. B cross C plus B cross A plus now what you do is you distribute c c cross c plus c cross a okay i can see one benefit what is c cross c yeah it is equal to zero it's from the basics you can check the la first video for the basics so we get a plus b dot okay what is C cross C? It will be 0. So this whole part will vanish. And I end up with, I skipped a step. Don't do like this in exam. Do it properly. Okay. Now what I am going to do is, 
I am going to distribute a over the dot product. I am going to distribute a over the dot product. So what will I get? a dot b cross c plus a dot b cross a plus a dot c cross a plus now I have to distribute b over the dot product. So b dot b cross c plus b dot b cross a plus b dot c cross a. Now look at this all these are STPs can you see three vectors one dot one cross three vectors one dot one cross. So I am going to use the box notation so that it becomes um, I got to call kind of like easy to handle a b a. I think you can see some good news here because this is going to vanish because two vectors are remember STP is associated with the determinants so all the properties of determinants are valid for STP. Okay look at this this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0. So the remaining vectors are the first and the last a b c. Now look I am going to do some magic here. I am going to make a cyclic interchange. What do you mean by cyclic interchange? Cyclic interchange means you will take the last element and put it at the first and that first element will push the other two and always remember cyclic interchange is equivalent to two interchanges. Every time you make one interchange there will be a negative. So when you make two interchanges negative of negative will make it positive. Okay I am going to do a cyclic interchange. So I take A and push the other two. Oh, so I am going to get 2 times ABC. In examination, I have to give you one warning. If you do not explain, you may lose marks. If you do not explain, examination is a place where you do presentation. Um, rather than showing your skill, it is a place to show your presentation skill. It, uh, you have to write in such a way that someone else who reads your answer paper will understand. That means you should not over explain but you should keep on writing the proper uh, like what you call things. For example, you can write every term is a STP, changing into STP notation, making cyclic interchange, like that, like that. Try to explain a little bit, make your presentation better. Okay. Now let's go for question number 2. Okay, prove that. Come on, this time I want you to do along with me. Prove that A minus B, B minus C, C minus A is equal to 0. So how do you start? Yeah, you start with the left hand side. And can you see the scalar triple product? Can you see the triple product? Tell me what is the trick? Write the three vectors, put necessary brackets. Main point put one dot and one cross according to your convenience. Okay, um, so this becomes a minus b dot. First, what should I what should I do? I am going to distribute b over the cross. So I get B cross C minus B cross A minus C cross C um, plus C cross A. And like in the last problem, uh, this will vanish because cross product with the same vector will give you 0. So basically only this term will be there. So I am going to write it here C cross A. In examination, don't do such things. Write necessary steps. Um, as a teacher, my job is to make you understand. But as a student, when uh, in your examination, you have to present properly. Okay, now what we do is, we will distribute this A over the dot. So what do I get? A dot B cross C. Then minus A dot B cross A. 
then plus a dot c cross a then we will distribute b so minus b cross b dot b cross c minus minus will be plus b dot b cross a minus b dot c cross a so like in the oh, some term is miss no like in the previous question all these things will become stp and i know that this 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 will get uh, and all of them will vanish so i'll be left with only two stps abc and minus bca now i'm going to do one interchange cyclic interchange cyclic interchange means we are doing two interchanges at the same time it will be like this a will come to the front and it will push b and c so we get abc minus abc which is equal to 0 okay now let's go for the next question okay this question is very 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 important uh, please write the question neatly prove that a cross b b cross c c cross a is equal to a b c the whole squared now if they ask the question like this it is very easy but sometimes they will twist the question and i'm warning you you have to remember this uh, result otherwise you will not be able to do it i'll repeat if they ask the question like this okay it's 100 percent okay but sometimes Okay, so the other, the equivalent question is, if A, B, C are coplanar, what do you mean by coplanar? We did it in the last video. Come on, come on, come on, think about it. What do you mean by coplanar? Coplanar means STP will be equal to 0. Then prove that A cross B, comma B cross C, comma C cross A are also coplanar so the second one can be done only 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 if you do the first one and the second one is very easy if abc is coplanar what will happen this right side will become zero which implies the left side is zero and if stp is zero then they will be coplanar okay let's start so we start with the left hand side but before we start something very very important what do you mean by VTP? Write three vectors, put cross and cross, and the bracket is compulsory, and the bracket should be for the last two vectors. And the value of the STPs, uh, I learn a trick. I read like ACB minus ABC. So ACB minus ABC. Then you put one dot here. And a bracket put one dot here and a bracket so basically it looks like this will be a number something like 7 into B minus 3 into C etc etc anyway let's start so the left hand side is a cross B B cross C C cross C so that will be equal to you saw an STP, right? This time I'm not going to explain too much. I'm going to write first vector dot. Now look at the problem. We have cross product everywhere. So we cannot, we cannot, we cannot distribute this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, a small trick. A cross B dot. Look at this, this B cross C. Actually, this is called cross product of four vectors. Can you see one, two, three, four vectors are there? We are doing the cross product. We will come to that in the next video. So, I am going to do a small trick. I am going to call the first vector as U. Hope you don't mind. And I will write where in examination, the presentation should be proper. Oh, now I can see a, uh, like what you call, a vector triple product. Look, three vectors are there and the brackets are for the last two and it is combined by cross and cross. 
what is the formula i just gave you the shortcut u a c minus u c a put dot bracket put dot bracket that's it now we took advantage of the vtp now i'm going to convert that u again with b cross c so a cross b dot so what's the value of b sorry what's the value of u b cross c dot a and write it neatly so what's the value of u b cross c dot a minus what's the value of u yeah b cross c dot c a oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute did you see that did you see that what is this what is the quantity inside it's an stp it's an stp there are three vectors one dot and one cross there are three vectors one dot and one cross okay we are almost near the solution so what's this it's an stp b c a c minus b c c a oh wait a minute wait a minute what will be the value of this stp come on the properties of determinants are for stp so vectors are repeating so this will vanish and that means the second term will be zero so a cross b dot now we are left with only one thing because this will become zero this will vanish the whole thing will disappear okay now let me make something very clear for you suppose we have v dot 7 times w i'm giving you an example suppose we have v dot 7 times w look at this 7 is a number 7 is a scalar i i think you can see something similar here can you see one vector dot a number into another vector so what we do is we we can keep this seven here and we can comfortably do the dot product did you get my point this is something from the basics that you learned in class 12 or class 10 so we are multiplying two vectors using dot product and here the second vector is actually 7 times w so what did i do i'm keeping that scalar outside and doing the dot product now i'm going to do the same stuff here look this is a number scalar triple product the triple product will result in a number maybe 7 maybe 10 maybe 5 okay i'm going to keep that number here and then what will i do i'll take the dot product of the other two a cross b dot c ah now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a cyclic interchange come on don't tell me you did not recognize this if you didn't recognize this then you have some serious problem with the basics of vector come on what is this a b c three vectors one dot one cross so that will be another a b c and what is a b c multiplied by a b c a b c squared that's it so i'll be back with another video uh, so till then practice a lot so i'll explain the second part before i go and then i'll wind up this video look at this so we proved that a cross b b cross c c cross a stp is a b c squared now according to the second part a b c is coplanar which makes this vector vanish and if this vector vanishes then mean that means the left hand side will also vanish and that's it so see you later so till then my friends bye